I swear this is just a zit. Well, three zits from stress from moving. And of course, I would get it before we're going to Maine. And I'm seeing like <coughs> all my relatives. So try and ignore that if you can. We are getting up at 5.30. It's currently 2.15 a.m. Because I'm dumb. Uh, Rob's asleep. We're flying to Maine. We go every single summer. And this is our first time ever flying there. This is my first time flying since I moved here from Germany to the States. So I'm pretty nervous. Time to get some Z's. I doubt I'll be able to. I, I stay up so late. Um... See you in the morning, really tired. Did you guys know that early enough in the morning it's dark? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You never get up early. I didn't know that. So we're on our way to the Atlanta airport. Um, we got about 5.30 at 6.15. I was on time, which I knew I would be. You were like five minutes late. I wasn't five minutes late. You were late. You're always really late. I'm always like, Rob, hurry up. Rob, does it take you this long to get ready? Rob, your hair looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on our way to the Atlanta airport. We get there at noon, but we had to get up at 5.30. It's a two and a half hour flight. How does that work? You should have just driven. Just joking. Here we go. <laughs> Seeing prepared, also got gum. No pressure's getting me. <laughs> we found this like sit down cafe bookstore place and we're really early. So we're getting some food before our flight. It's delicious. Yeah. It's hazelnut latte. Good. Yeah. That's what they do in Belgium. It's called a Belgian dip. I got you a present! I got you a present! I gotta get it. Rob's here too! I wanna get your reaction, Roar. I've been so excited to give this to you. Roar! Come here! I got you a present! Come here! I got you a present! Oh my god, Roar!
This is a hair roar. Just a I picked it out for you special in Asheville, North Carolina, roar. I saw it and I just had to get it for you. Had to get it for you. It's so much bigger than her body. Oh my goodness. Bigger than you. You got such a big toy. I got that in Asheville, roar. I'm Robert, your toy is so big. So big. <laughs> I love riding in the trunk. It's always I know, fun. We, do that everywhere. we made so it. We're in Maine. One of my favorite parts of Maine is just staying up late upstairs and <laughs> laughing and talking and being done with my sisters. <laughs> Laura's been great about keeping watch, except during the storm, she needed me to hold her and cuddle her the whole time. She's still really brave, it's okay. She's excited every time someone comes. Uh-oh. Too much fun with bubbles. Oops. Bubbles. Ooh. I'm 23 years old. We haven't been filming very much because has been a lot going on. Has not been a lot going on. So yesterday we, our first day after the plane ride, we were pretty tired. Second day we just kind of hung out. We said hi to everybody, all the relatives and stuff. Today, my grandparents from my mom's side came to see the place for the first time and visit. Um, so that's been fun. Everyone just came over again. Got a picture with both sets of my grandparents, which was super cool. Never thought that would happen. Um, and now we're just right into the store before dinner. It's been hot as balls. I haven't been on the water once. Just been chilling. I've been kayaking. Yeah, he's been kayaking. Seeing a lot of family, just relaxing. We have our restaurants we go to. There's all the cool sites like the wire bridge. We've been here for like two days and we just haven't done any of the things that we normally do. Yeah. Uh, we really ate pink why. hot dogs. Yeah, that's true. Pink hot dogs. We played some board games. Yeah, board games. saying forever oh I saw 11 moose last week I saw all these moose I don't believe it I've been coming up here for since I was in since I was a newborn baby I've never seen a moose actually they say I, I saw one when I was a baby but since then I have not seen a moose up here and we are in it here in Maine like we're not just like in like civilization Maine we're in there's no civilization anywhere Maine so there should be moose everywhere. There are different places that you can go to look for them, but they're, I don't know, we never ever see them. We were driving home. Yeah, we were driving home one time. We took a route that was gonna be going through all these popular moosey areas, because we looked it up pretty hard, because we want to see a moose. Still, I was just peeled eyes the whole time. 
a single moose. You see a log or a trunk or something, you're like, moose! But nope, not a moose. I think they're like Bigfoot. I think they're just a myth. Moose are a myth. One of these days I'll see one. One of these days, Bob. Hopefully. Finally made it, Rob. Giffords. The ice cream place here. The only one, but also it's like, it's delicious, so I'm okay with it being the only one. Have a different name. I mean, I know they this serve is still Giffords, Giffords ice cream. It's but like Giffords attached to Pinkums, but oh, yeah. yep, we made it. Ice cream time. It's so good. It's like crack in a cone. Yeah. Floating little head. <laughs> you're so cute. Look at me. Rob, you're probably the most comfortable out of all of us right now. <laughs> like it's probably so cool. Oh and nice. yeah, I'm just nice and cold right yeah, now. My feet are uh, really nice. You should put your feet in. You can like... I'm still traumatized. I got bitten by a fish last time on my toe. I think I heard somewhere that like you can make yourself feel like 10 degrees cooler just by putting your feet in the water. I believe that. That's where we stayed once on our anniversary. A haunted, haunted. haunted hotel. Haunted hotel. We slept with the lights on because yeah. we're babies. This is the best place to eat here. It's Longfellow's. We gotta go every year. It's really yummy. Here we go. Rob, we got Giffords and Longfellows in the in same one night. Day. What We're a good spoiled. Day. What a great main day. It's a pretty, um, what's the word? Tradition y day. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. It's a good one. Let's enjoy some food. She brings in her toys. Hi, Uncle Matt. Tick check. Very important after playtime. I'm gonna flip you, Aurora, okay? Just don't call for a second. You okay? Here, give me a good belly rub. Give me a good belly rub. Give me a good belly rub. Check your back paws. Her tail and her ears, butt, mustache. Her ticks there. Her ticks in here. Happy puppy. No ticks around here. All right, I think you're good. Yay! <sighs> Rob and I went to the woodsman today with my uncle Matt. That was a lot of fun. Didn't really film it just because I just wanted to chill a bit and eat some yummy food. And then today I think we're doing all the water sports. So. It's gonna be a fun day today. It's been a lot of chilling and family time, so time to get our our water on. So we're gonna go do my favorite thing to do on the lake, which is go surfing. Here's Rob. We're I'm on pumped. we're on my pause boat. Later we'll probably kneeboard off of it, but right now we're waiting to go surfing. USA surfing Maine. Surfing on USA. It was stupid. Surfing's the best. It's so fun. It's so much fun. Maggie's gonna get her hair wet. Here we go. Here, Hopefully not.
That is fire. You ready to do some s'mores, Rob? Fui, fui, hot. <laughs> it is hot. There's a fan right there trying to cool it off. Sunset. Oh, it's a, it's a drone up there. I don't even see oh, it. That. Where? Up, right up top. Up Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It just plummets into the water. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Oh, it might out. be doing that right now. I'm sure you might have flown it too high. Because if it loses the signal, it will just plummet. I really hope it goes just right down to the water. So we're on our way. We do this every time we're in Maine. I've been doing it since I was in diapers. I'm always let down, but let's see what happens. We're going moose hunting. We're gonna see if we can find a moose on the side of the road or in these sand dunes that we always go to to look. I've been taken up to these sand dunes forever, hoping to see a moose. I guess a couple of my uncles have seen moose this year, so maybe there's a chance that I'll finally see my moose. I've literally gotten headaches from just staring out the window for so long, but we'll see. We'll see, let's go on this moose hunt, peaceful hunt. This is it. You certain? This is it, it's just filled up with trucks. Did they just put all this sand here? I guess so. I mean, the obvious answer is yes. Oh, what? This is the place my dad's been going since he was a kid to look at moose. This is where he took me to look at moose. I think I saw another one. Wait, this is it because that's the other side. That's such a bummer. Yeah, this is the other one, so that is it. No that way. sucks. Yeah, that's it. This is the other side. Oh, well, and then they just sit here looking for moose. I'm bummed about the other side. So it's our last night in Maine. It sucks because we're leaving everyone here. So Roar and my mom and dad and everyone will still be up here, but we'll be home. And they'll all still be having sucks. fun, but we gotta go back. Even if they were having a terrible time, I'd rather be with them than not, you know? Yeah. Like all my relatives are up here. 
my second cousins, my firsts, my thirds, my uncles, my aunts, my grandpa, everybody's up here. So I'm just leaving like bajillions of Flynn's behind. But last night, obviously we didn't see any moose. Didn't think we would. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever see moose. I don't think they exist. I think they're like Bigfoot. They just don't exist. And since tonight is our last night, we wanted to squeeze in some lobster. We're getting some lobster rolls. Lobster rolls. We uh, were trying to squeeze in everything before we leave tonight. So we went kneeboarding. We swam around the lake. We're getting some lobster rolls. Uh, my family from the other camp is gonna come over tonight. And then, I don't know if we said yet, but our flight home, because it was cheaper and it's Portland, so I didn't see a lot of other options. Our flight is at 6 a.m. And the airport's two hours away, and we need about like an hour to get everything ready uh, when we get there, get checked and everything. So, I feel bad for my mom. She's driving us there and back, so she'll be leaving at like 3 and getting back at like 7. Probably later. So that's going to be rough. We're going to be up all night long. But, it's okay. I think we could do it. Ooh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh boy, here we go. I hope they have good lobster rolls. I've never had theirs before, I've never been here. Tan turtle though in Bar Harbor still. It has my favorite so far. We'll see how this place does. Oof, I love lobster rolls. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, <laughs> So I guess, yeah, if you say, if you take that as like a measure of difficulty, you know, compared to mine. What do you think, Rob? Well, I'm still well good. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm so bummed that dinner's over. Usually I'm like, oh, that was great. I'm stuffed. I'm so satisfied. Although I am satisfied, I'm just like 10 out of 10 so solid. Like every part of it was so good. I wish I could rewind and eat all that stuff again. That's funny. Mm, it was so good. You could throw it up. Honestly, like if I burped and a little bit came back into my mouth, You'd be like, Yay. I'd be like, mm, lobster. The french fries were good, doused in vinegar. It was just, it was so good. Time for one last trip to Giffords. Hi, queen. go with my mint chocolate chip cone. It's almost midnight. The waiting game. We leave at 3 o'clock. Rob, are you going to bed or staying up? I'm going to bed. <clears throat> really? Three hours? Yep. Oof. 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 Sorry, baby. I'm going to try and get yeah, that's true. I want to go to bed, but for two hours and 15 minutes, I don't think I can. Maybe I'll go lie in bed, but I feel like no matter what I do, I won't fall asleep. I'm just going to want to play on my phone. I think I'm just going to stay up. Mm -mm. It's gonna be really rough, but I'm just gonna stay up. Bounce, Daniel. Bounce, bounce. Here we go. The waiting game for the 6 a.m. flight. Bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. Got a sunburn. Five thirty a.m. 
After all that, an all-nighter, and I mean, ants in my car. yeah, we finally get back, and then there's an infestation of ants in your car. It's bizarre. But bright side is, uh, car still here, no ticket. Despite the fact that I definitely did park in the spot that's at office building. Yep, we're on the way home. We're on our way home. That's what matters. Yeah. We did it. It went by so fast. Mm -hmm. But then, not fast. Gross ants. Oof, I'm ready to pass out. We made it. We made it home after the long journey. And now, it is time for bed. So it's almost six at night. We napped. We napped so much. And I'm still tired. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know how. I don't know why. I'm back in Lawrenceville. Great trip. So Maine is over, yeah. We're sad to be gone. No more family, no more lake, no more vacation. But that's just life, right? So now we're gonna, well Rob, it's his idea, because he's an alien. He wants to go out to dinner. <laughs> so we're gonna go out to dinner. And then probably come home and finish unpacking. You've been finishing unpacking for a month. It's hard. So thanks for checking out Maine with us. This was a slower time, but I still had so much fun.